about what's in your food. We have tips for what you need to avoid. Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. All right, Raul, you know when you're feeling really sick and everybody says, go home and get in bed and eat some chicken soup. Well, it turns out that chicken soup, there actually is healing powers in the broth of it. We're going to hear more about that this morning from clinical nutritionist and Whole Journey founder Krista Arecchio, as well as the flavor chef Lance Roll. Good morning to both of you this morning. You. We appreciate morning. it. All Good right, morning. so first, we're going to start first with you. This is our um, food as medicine segment this morning. Tell me if you would, there actually are like healing powers in, in the broth of some soups? Yes, yes, absolutely. I call this stuff the magic healing elixir okay. for clients. <laughs> Everybody needs to know about this. I'm so glad that we're doing this segment because chicken bone broth, they call it Jewish penicillin, right? It can basically cure anything from a cold to a headache to exhaustion and all kinds of things. Wow. There's so many health benefits to chicken bone broth. I love it. And, and Chef Lance, you actually make this raw bone broth. Tell me the difference between yours and, say, the, the canned stuff that we can buy in the grocery store. Well, well essentially, the difference is, is we take a, a large quantity of uh, free-range chicken bones, place them into a kettle with uh, Carlsbad mineral water, artesian well water, simmer it for 18 to 20 hours. And during that time, there's a mixture of carrots and celery, onions, bay leaves, peppercorns, thyme, we, we put a small amount of kombu, which is a sea vegetable that adds added sea salt. We don't add any uh, sodium or um, sodium chloride, basically salt, um, so our clients that are salt-free can, can keep, continue to use chicken broth. And then during that time, we also add an acid component, which we learned from Sally Fallon's uh, nourishing traditions to help remove the minerals from the bones. So literally what we have in our product is really liquid bone. And this is the this is the final product right is, here. Yeah, this is the final product. You can see there's full of nice gelatin and collagen and all that stuff's been extracted from the bones during the time during a low simmer. And you've got some simmering right here. We got some simmering here. right here. We add a little bit of sea salt. These are the ingredients that you put in there. Just and you can drink it just like this. It's a base for most soups and sauces and stir fries and things like that. You can put it in there. But here's what Chris is talking about is just using it as a tea, basically. Simmering it, we had a little bit of sea salt, we had a small amount of these uh, Bragg sea kelp flakes in here to give it a little flavor, and it has beautiful flavor on its own, and then we just stir it up and put it in a little cup like this. You can drink it like that, or you can just use it like regular chicken broth. So if you're okay. making rice, use bone broth instead of water to make Love the it. rice. Or if you're doing a stir fry, use a few tablespoons of bone broth. And you say this can actually help our bodies heal 30% faster. Is that amazing? As a nutritionist, I don't want to give people fistfuls of pills. Right. But if I'm giving them this stuff, not the regular stuff you buy in the store, that is going to help heal the lining of your intestinal tract. Awesome. That's going to give you more energy and help heal your stress hormones. For somebody who's got a baby on the way, this is going to give them straight minerals, straight calcium, magnesium, in a way that your body doesn't even have to process it. You say if you're expecting a baby, you should have a cup of this a day. Beyond the shadow of a doubt, yeah. one cup, maybe at night before you go to bed or if you can first thing in the morning, okay. that will give you so many more minerals. Then the baby won't take your minerals and you'll feel stronger throughout pregnancy. Okay, I'm going to do a little taste test here. I'm going to try. This is the store-bought stuff. This is and the store-bought store stuff. stuff. And as I try this, uh, Chef Lance, I want you to tell me, if you would, where people can pick these up, these little absolutely. packets right here. Just name off some places. Sure, absolutely. We're available in all four Jimbo's locations, Carlsbad, Del Mar. Um, Forest Ranch and Escondido. That's We're also good. available in Cardiff Seaside Market, um, Tip Top Meats in Carlsbad, Cream of the Crop in Oceanside, and Healthy Creations in Encinitas. Yep. Oh All my places. goodness, this is so good. Wait, this Isn't is it? totally different. That's what it's I wanted like right there. This is completely this different. Is totally wow. different. That's this is almost like it reminds me of um, like kind of like the soup that you get sometimes in the Japanese restaurants and steakhouse. Yes. Right. This is really, really rich. I wasn't uh -huh. expecting that big of a difference. Absolutely. Wow, that's a huge difference. It's pretty amazing, right? Okay, I'm sold. I'm going to do it. This uh -huh. is my cup for the day, and i got to okay. get more for tomorrow because apparently i got to have Good. a cup of this a day. Here's the deal. You can get in touch with uh, Krista Arecchio at The Whole Journey. She's located in Encinitas. We have more information on her on our website. Fox5SanDiego.com. We've also put more information on Chef Lance Thank on you. our website, Fox5SanDiego.com. Just click on that scene on tab. Raul. Hmm. Mm. For well, you need to get some of this. Here, come up in here. All right, here we go. Let's yeah. try it. 
Just like that, see? Slurp, don't slurp. Mind your manners, Raul. All right, always. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> I think. Thank you, Erica. All right, the Chargers are getting ready.